G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. If you're looking for that breakfast treat to make once in a while, not too often, only in moderation, then you will love this hotcake recipe. It's easy to make and it's delicious. So join me today as I make my version of chocolate hotcakes. Now to start this off, I'm going to use a stand mixer, but you can also use a hand mixer if you don't have a stand mixer. So into our mixing bowl, I'm going to place in two eggs, followed by one and a half cups of milk, and two tablespoons of sugar. And give it a good mix until the sugar is completely dissolved. Okay, so once the sugar is dissolved, next I'm going to add two cups of self-raising flour, or two cups of plain flour with a tablespoon of baking powder. Then to that, two thirds of a cup of cocoa powder, and finally a quarter cup of melted butter. And finally give it a good mix until it's all well combined. Now I have a preheated fry pan on the stove and I've let it warm up to a medium to just above medium heat. So just give it a quick grease with some cooking spray oil and just simply pour your hotcake onto the pan. Now personally, I think the only way to have hotcakes is the big, thick, nice and fluffy type versions. But if you find it too thick, just water it down with a little bit of milk. So it's going to take about say two to three minutes on each side, depending on the thickness of course. As a rule of thumb, you know it's ready to turn over when you start to see bubbles forming on the top and it goes slightly dry on the outside. Okay, so as you can see, it has started to go dry on the outside and bubbles are just beginning to form on top. So just carefully flip it over. And we're going to cook it for a further, say for a thin pancake, about a minute. For a nice thick one like this, I'd give it a good two minutes. Okay, so it's been about two minutes, so I'm just going to take it off and just continue on and make the rest of your hotcakes. So now we have a lovely triple stack of chocolate hotcakes. You can top it with whatever you like, be it maple syrup or honey. But for me, I'm just going to add just uh, some whipped cream. And from the video I made the other day, some chocolate syrup. Now would you look at that chocolate goodness. Now certainly this is not something you want to have every day. Yeah, maybe once a week, once every couple of weeks. Just as a treat is fine, but it's certainly worth the wait. And it is just so much cheaper and better than buying the pre-made hotcakes from the shops. Because there really is only a few ingredients that everyone has at home. But no matter whether you use cream, ice cream, or maple syrup, either way, these chocolate hotcakes are going to taste simply delish. And I'll leave a link down below in the description to my video on how to make your own chocolate sauce that I used on these hotcakes. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.